My name is Dr. Tom Machek and I'm double certified in anesthesia and pain management. I'm also a program director for Method Health. Um, today we're going to talk about PRP and what is PRP. Um, in short, platelet-rich plasma is a constant, a fragment of our blood, which are platelets, concentrated and then injected wherever needed. So platelets are our first responders. You have a cut, they're the ones that are going to get there and try to heal that cut, prevent bleeding and so forth. So they're perfect substrate to use to help chronic conditions and regenerate tissue. Um, the reason we use them in joints a lot because that's one of the uh, areas in our body that things can't get in easily. You know, so joint doesn't have blood vessel because you couldn't have bleeding in a joint that has to move. So a lot of feeding and nutrients comes through perfusion or osmosis. So we need boost to help that joint when need be. So platelets are commonly injected in knees, hips, and shoulders. PRP can be used in two ways, in acute injuries and on chronic injuries. I would actually say in acute injuries it will do even better because um, this is what it was designed to do. Uh, so uh, let's say you, you play football or uh, you, you're running and you sprain your knee or ankle. Right? So by, in, by injecting PRP in an acute injury, you, you, the healing process will start sooner and progress faster. Um, on the other end, we also have chronic injuries like osteoarthritis and so forth. Um, they won't work as fast as a, potentially as an acute injury, but it will prompt the current cells in that knee or joint to regenerate faster and hopefully reverse some of that chronic process that started. The treatment usually consists of an injection followed by another injection two weeks later and a third injection two weeks later. Sometimes we have great results that the third injection may not even be necessary. Actually, we always reevaluate the benefits after the first injection. Everybody has in their age group different healing powers, so to say. This will boost whatever your body can do on its own and add to it. Um, the way that it's done, we take your blood, we spin it to a uh, portion of blood that is just platelets, hence platelet-rich plasma. Um, and then we condense it and concentrate it and inject it in the area that was injured. Stem cells, I would say, is an upgrade to PRP um, because they are the pluripotent cells that can divide and become any other cell. Um, they also activate nearby cells to, who are already um, differentiated into uh, bone or muscle to Re regenerate. So there are two ways that a stem cell can work. It can actually um, transform into what needs to become to help that body part that was injected, but it also activates the cells that are already there to regenerate. Um, traditionally, uh, we have used um, different ways to harvest stem cells. Bone marrow is one of the areas in our body that always needs to create uh, blood, for example, or blood components. So um, it was a perfect area to subtract them. It's a little deep and it can be painful, so people have started using subcutaneous fat tissue because skin always regenerates, right? We always shed the superficial layer and a new layer has to come up. So that is a perfect layer to find a lot of stem cells. And it's a lot easier to get to, a lot less painful. Um, and nowadays it became more of a demand and um, there are companies that supply already made stem cells. One area that we can get it is amniotic tissue. So um, those are pluripotent cells and an, the reason that has become a little bit more of a mainstream because they're always the most active cells. If you're 70 year old and you harvest your own bone marrow or uh, skin uh, subcutaneous, it won't be as active as a um, amniotic cell. So that would be one group. They even went a step further to 
use particles in those stem cells, which are called exosomes. Those are the little bubbles inside that actually exit the stem cells to activate other cells and concentrate them. So exosome injections are really just subgroup of those stem cells. So science is trying to um, concentrate what's the actual active ingredient and the latest, I would have to say, and I'm super excited about exosomes.